Hey, it's Jenny from A Stamping Jenny. I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator from Wollongong, just south of Sydney, Australia. Thanks for joining me today. Do you have so many beautiful papers and you really can't decide which side of the paper you're going to use because they're both so gorgeous? It's a real dilemma and I totally know. This card that I'm going to show you today is a great one because it will show off both sides of the beautiful paper. They're known as collar cards. There are other names for them too, but I'm gonna show you these. They're really quick to make and it's lovely that you can see both sides of the paper. Just before I start, just remember any of the products that you see are available in my store if you're in Australia. If you're on YouTube, then I'll add the link in the description below. If you're on YouTube, don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more projects from me. And of course, as you're browsing through my store and you have a long wish list, it's really so much better value to join the Stampin' Up! family. And I can tell you, so many people have taken advantage of this, especially now with Celebration, with an extra bundle on top of the already great value of starting. $169, you get $235 and a choice of a bundle from the new mini catalog, which is so exciting. So ask me if you have any more questions. Let's get on with the card. So I'm gonna give you the measurements. I'm using the Yora Peach designer series paper. Isn't it so pretty? Beautiful prints either side. Now, you, this is a standard card size, so in metric, it's 21 centimetres by 14.8 centimetres, scored at 10.5. Or it is 8.5 by 5.5, scoring it at 4.25. The white card is your mat. It's just slightly smaller, so metric, it's... 14.4 centimeters by 10.1 centimeters or five and three eighths by four and one eighth. So just that slightly smaller. The piece of designer series paper is 9.7 by 14 or five and a quarter inches by four inches. All right, so we're gonna work with a piece of pattern paper now. So let's just bring in a paper trimmer first. What you want to do is you're going to create this cut here to be able to fold it back. So halfway point down your piece of designer series paper. So I'm placing it at seven centimeters on a paper trimmer or you'll mark that at two and five eight inch. So you're going to just line that up there. You're going to cut in on your piece of designer series paper, five centimeters or two inches. So you've got that on your mark there. I just put my finger there just to hold it there so it won't go down too far. So just run your trimmer blade just down there to those little marks that you find on your blade that gets down to the five centimeters or the two inch mark. Now what I find helpful is to score this part. So what I'm doing is marking those points in that little track using your scoring tool or if you've got a paper scorer you could use that. And you're just going to run that down to that point of the cut. I just find it much easier to actually score where you're going to fold. It'll give you a lot crisper fold. So then you're going to put that mark into the track, going to the corner again. And just giving that a bit of a score mark down there just to get that crisper fold let's get our trimmer out of the way and then you have our piece of paper 
Then it's simply a matter of folding where you have just scored your line, giving that a crisp fold. Let's just get our bone folder in, give it a burnish that fold and do that on the other side. See how you can see both sides of the print of the, of the paper, it's just so beautiful. So then bring our card in. I'm going to just sit that on our card base. Well, we can get our card base out of the way for the moment. Let's just focus on our white piece. Put our paper there and we can line up where we want to stamp our sentiment. I've stamped best wishes on this one, but I'm going to stamp thank you kindly. I tend to give out a lot more thank you cards and thinking of you cards than birthday cards. I don't know about you. What do you give more? Right, so let's position our paper in place so we know where to stamp. And just add a little bit extra on our white card piece. I've stamped some dots. This is actually from the Artistically Ink set. And I'm also using the leaf as well. This seems to match so well with our peach paper. But first, let's just stamp a couple of these dots. And that doesn't matter where. We don't need our piece of pattern paper in for now. I'm just going to get some white scrap paper and we'll stamp our leaf. Let's just move that aside. Right. And then we can just cut that out with, this is from the Artistic Dies. We'll cut that out on our die cut machine. Now here's our die cut leaf. I'm going to put this together. I've got another sample that I made of this card. I'll show you in a moment. We'll just assemble this first. And just show you, I just wanted to show you something with sticking your paper on. So we can do that first. I'm using the Tombow glue just because I like how to move it. Use whatever glue you prefer. Just run your glue around the whole edges. Now it'll help if you just add a little bit of glue underneath here. That will just hold these pieces down in place. Now you can add your white piece. So the base I'm using is Pale Papaya. That matches the paper so well. It's one of the new in colors at the moment. Now I'm going to add dimensionals on the back of the leaf to raise that up. Just add a couple there. Just add that little addition. You can add whatever you like there. It might be a die cut leaf, it might be another stamped image. If you've got the peach stamp set, you can add that in there. We're going to add some bling. Let's add some bling there. You can choose to add it wherever you like. So there's our Euro Peach collar card. 
Now let's bring another one in which I made earlier. This is with a pale papaya as well, but with a different print. It's just a, a great way to show off both sides of your paper. So I hope you give it a go. And I'd love to see it. Share it with me on email or messenger or on Facebook, a card that you've made with it. I'd love to see. So have a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye.